is OK. And it's good to periodically dump that. Let's see. I could always restore. I could remove. Go configuration. Six cores. All that good stuff. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Teentronics channel where today we are going to be discussing backup Proxmox VMs to Synology NAS. So where I am at right now is I have my uh, NAS up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's how it's done. We're gonna create I'm going to call it P. Prox, Mox, VMs, and containers. We're going to use all available capacity. We do not need a recycling bin. I'm not going to encrypt because I don't have the need to encrypt right now, but even though it would be a good thing to do. But it'll just make things a little bit more complicated for what I'm trying to do. Um, now, let's see. To ensure service quality, we recommend not enabling ch data checksum when the shared folder will be used for the following services. Hosting databases or virtual machines, storing video recordings of surveillance station. So we're not going to enable that. We're not going to enable a quota. We're not going to use compression. And... Um, I want to go back and look at visibility. Okay, we don't, I think we, we have everything we need to get it created. All right, so I'm going to give read and write access to the guests and go from there. So now I've effectively created the volume that we want to share with Proxmox. We are going to go into Proxmox and we are going to see what we can do with this shared folder. Over to my Proxmox environment. I'm going to go to my node. See what we can do for storage. I, there was some instructions that I had that I could use. Um, we're going to use the CIFS option. So we can see we could add. And I'm going to fill out the form. I'm going to put G server username okay we gotta it sees my stuff that's a good sign And I think that's really all I need to add. Let me just check on if there's anything that I would be missing. I would see here if I could select. Uh, is VZ dump backup file, disk image, ISO image. Containers, and I'll even add container templates. Okay. And I think that's what we want. I don't have anything else to add to this, and I think this will do it for us.
All right. So that's essentially it in a nutshell. That's all we had to do to set that up. And there it is. So we have successfully added that Synology disk into my Proxmox environment. If you have any questions, you know, let me know. All right, so since we have everything set up and everything's, uh, we're gonna try to make a backup. I have a machine running. And um, basically my Windows 10 machine, it's been up for 66 days. I'm going to try to back it up. We're going to back it up. Be careful. So I must select where I created that. And I'm going to see what happens if I click back up now. I'm just going to do a, a snapshot and see how that works. Okay, so we're going to just let it do its course. See what happens. It's really neat. It's neat that you have Proxmox and you're able to do a backup of a live machine while it's going. So we should be receiving a status message. And then we'll see what our backup looks like. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be great. Happy joint to I always wanted to back up my machines because I know that like sometimes some things can happen and you can mess up a machine, and which I've done in the past, and it's always good to have. Now the thing about this is, because it's Windows 10 and it has software in it, I can only use this VM on this server that I'm currently using. And um, that's okay. But I am gonna back up some containers too, which should be movable, because I'm thinking about installing Proxmox on another server. But that's another video for another day. Okay, so here it is. The backup job finished. It took an hour and 22 minutes and 37 seconds. Uh, archive file size is 245.67 gigabytes. Task is okay. And it's good to periodically dump that. Let's see. I could always restore. I could remove. Go configuration. Six cores. All that good stuff. So that's our backup, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hey, if you like the video, please like the video. Click the thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to stay up to date on some of the new stuff that I'll be coming out with. And uh, thank you for watching.